This training video was recorded to display the cartridge system being applied to a truck box. Ultimate Linings offers many different color options and pigments including colors off the primary color chart while also supplying several shades of gray, tan, and red. Any color can be created by blending these pigments. Be familiar with the particular system you have. Read all user manuals provided with the equipment. Identify each component and its function. Always be sure to use proper personal protective equipment while spraying our product, which includes a full face air purifying respirator, a full body spray suit, and nitrile gloves. Pre-clean the truck box to be sure the truck bed is free from wax, grease, or other contaminants. Wipe with a clean lint free rag. Pre-cleaning will ensure that the masking will adhere and prevent contamination of the nylon scuff brush. Use wire trim tape around all areas where the liner will need to be cut after spraying. The wire trim is used in place of a razor or cutting knife that may damage paint. Be sure the wire trim lays flat and is not lifting on any areas. Leave an extra 6 to 8 inches of wire trim tape at all ends. This will make it easier to find the end points and give enough length to use as a handle. Remove the backing on the wire trim tape at the front of the truck. Work your way back using masking tape around all edges that do not require wire trim cutting. Continue removing the wire trim backing. Continue masking the box with masking paper or painter's plastic around all edges. Be sure not to overlap masking tape over the wire in the wire trim tape. Mask around the tailgate. Remove any access panels on the tailgate to prevent permanently bonding the panel to the truck box. Tie down hooks and bed bolts may also be removed. Mask off the latch mechanisms with a piece of masking paper. Mask the remainder of the truck down to the shop floor with painter's plastic to prevent overspray on the truck. Be sure to cover the entire truck cab. Use red Scotch-Brite to scuff the edges by hand. This will help prevent removal of the masking and ensure that the edges are scuffed properly. Use a nylon cut brush on a multi-speed polisher to scuff the truck box. Slower speed setting work best with nylon cut brushes. The ideal surface is a dull clear coat. Paint removal is not recommended. Blow the box out to remove as much dust as possible. Hold the air nozzle approximately 6 to 8 inches from the surface. Start from the front of the box and blow the dust out the back. A second solvent wipe is also recommended. Always complete a final inspection to be sure that there are no tears or gaps in the masking. Remove the cartridges from the case. Shake for 10 to 20 seconds and install the static mixing nozzles. Be sure the cartridges are at least 75 degrees Fahrenheit for proper spraying.
connect the gun to an air source and set the regulator on the handle to 100 PSI. Test for proper operation. The speed of the main piston can be changed with the regulator on the handle. Turn up 10 PSI to speed up the piston. Turn down to regulate to slow down. Never exceed 110 PSI. Insert the cartridge label side down into the gun. Be sure to hold upright at least 45 degrees to prevent cross-contamination in the static mixing nozzle. Attach the air tube to the air atomizer on top of the static mixing nozzle. Depress the trigger and open the valve to the aerator tip one quarter turn. Do not open the valve 100% as this may deplete air to the main piston pushing the chemical. The valve should be opened just enough to create a good spray pattern. Do not release the trigger until the cartridge is finished. Spray the top of the rails if an over the rail application or start from the back sidewall of the box for an under the rail application. Continue around to the front bulkhead wall of the truck and down the opposite sidewall and finish at opposite end of the truck box. The first cartridge will cover an entire sidewall and the front bulkhead wall. Always spray off target and release the trigger before the cartridge runs dry. Do not let the cartridge run dry on the truck. Change the empty cartridge and continue spraying from your last point. The second cartridge will cover the remaining walls and start the front end of the floor. The third cartridge will cover the remainder of the box floor. The fourth cartridge will complete two coats on the tailgate and access panel. The fifth cartridge is used for long beds to complete over the rail application or to apply texture on short boxes. The sixth cartridge is typically needed to apply texture on long boxes and or over the rail applications only. The sixth cartridge is not required on short boxes. Remove masking tape and stop at the wire. Do not pull past. Expose wire and pull at a 45 degree angle into the liner away from the tape using pliers. Pliers will prevent any cuts from the wire. Repeat to the other side of the truck and tailgate. 